Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we'll have Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Two. The plot of Act Two, Scene Two, is in Venice. It's a street, and the characters which will play this scene are Lancelot and Gobo, his father. So it's a mimicry. Rather, it's a soliloquy of uh, Lancelot, in which it is shown that Lancelot is moved by two voices. One voice is of a devil, and the other voice is the voice of his conscience, means the angelic voice. And he is in dilemma that should he remain. in the service of his master shylock so it's very clear that lasilot is a servant of shylock or he should run away from there because he is not happy over there he is facing hunger shylock is a miser he do not care of his servants lasilot even tells his father that you can feel my ribs so the scene is mimicry and rather it's amusement scene lasolot even mocks to his father who is too old to recognize him and tells him that his son lasolot is dead and his father is almost blind unable to recognize that he is talking with his own son lasolot and lasolot plays a practical joke with his father but this uh, treatment of lasolot with his father doesn't creates too much amusement rather it's too harsh to make a joke with such a old man but still the scene is introduced to create a pause in the drama and it's amusement two characters will be there lasolot and his father gobo in the initial setting lasolot is in dilemma he is confused that should he remain in the service of shylock or should he run away so there are two voices and the amusement is also over there when uh, lasolot has to think in two voices one of the voice of devil and the other is the angelic voice the voice of the conscience is his angelic voice and the voice of the devil is obviously the devil's voice so let's start with the play lasolot who is the servant to shylock and who is thinking should he remain in the service of shylock or should he run so lasolot says certainly my conscience will serve to run from this jew my master so truly my conscience will say that i should run from my jew master shylock the find is at my elbow and find is a devil and devil is sitting over my hand at elbow and tempts me devil is tempting me devil is giving a temptation to lasolot so there are two voices one is one voice is of conscience of lasolot and one is the voice of devil and devil is saying gobo lasolot gobo good lasolot good gobo good lasolot gobo use your legs take a start run away so who says all this devil the devil inside the devil inside lasolot is saying that you should run away and he says like this gobo lasolot gobo good lasolot or good gobo good lasolot gobo use your legs take a start and run away so the devil is tempting lasolot that he should run away from there from whom from his jewish master shalak other voice is of conscience angelic voice that voice is saying no take heed 
honest lacelot take heed take heed means take care so honest lacelot take care the other voice is different the other voice is suggesting a different thing take care honest gobo honest lacelot gobo do not run you should feel insulting scorn running with my with thy heels so you should feel insulting or contempt it's a contempt to run away so well the most courageous fine bids my pack so again the devil says that you should pack up and run away vaya so vaya is a latin word saying that you should run away vaya this way you should run away devil is saying run away conscience is saying remain there says the fiend away says the fiend for the heavens rose up a brave mind says the fiend and run so fiend says fiend is saying devil is saying that be brave enough run away from here well the other voice is well my conscience is hanging about the neck of my heart so where is the conscience conscience is in, is in, in heart so conscience is saying that very wisely to gobo that my honest friend lacelot being an honest man's son you are a son of an honest man means your father is honest man or rather an honest woman's son so if your father is not honest enough at least your mother is honest so the conscience is saying that lacelot budge not don't move budge not means do not move budge says the fine and what do fine says what do devil says budge move away and what do conscience says don't budge budge not says my conscience conscience say i you counsel well fine say i you counsel well so what gobo is saying that my conscience is advising good enough and devil is also advising good enough so both the voices are good enough for me so what should i do now now go uh, this lost lord is in dilemma i should stay with the jew my master who god bless the mark is a kind of devil so if i stay with the jew with the shylock who is he then who he himself is a devil so lacelot is not happy with his master he is saying that my my master shalok is a devil and to run away from a jew i should be ruled by a fiend and what is devil saying that you should run away from the devil because shalok itself is a devil who saving your reverence who with due respect is a devil himself so with re- with reverence means with due respect shalok is a devil himself certainly the jew is the very devil incarnation so the shalak is incarnation of a devil means devil in a human body incarnation spirit in a body and in my conscience my conscience is but a hard conscience and what my conscience is saying my conscience is very hard what my conscience is counseling the angelic voice is what to offer to counsel me to stay with the jew so what my conscience is saying you should remain with the devil the fiend gives me more friendly counsel now who is right the devil is right because devil is asking to run away from the devil and that will be good so i will run find my heels are at your commandment i will run so what do lacelot say that my heels my foots are at your commandments at your advice at your directions and i'll run away from here so with this sulkily and with this dilemma what lacelot is facing the two voices are there and there is nobody in the stage except lacelot over here this all dialogue has been delivered by lacelot in one voice he has to represent the voice of conscience and in one voice he has to represent the voice of obviously the fiend devil at this position at this situation gobo enters with the basket who is gobo gobo is the father of lacelot gobo said master young man you i pray you which is the way to the master jew so gobo says that where does the jew shalok lives so young man master young man i ask you 
will you tell me where do the shallow cliffs lacelet says oh heavens this is my begotten father so lacelet said that oh my god this is the father who gave birth to me begotten father he has given birth to me who being more than a sand blind high gravel blind so he is half blind he is sand blind or almost completely blind so sand blind means half blind and high gravel blind means almost completely blind knows me not i will try confusions with him so he do not recognize me so what will i do i'll try confusions with him so i'll confuse him that decides lacelot now gobo says master young gentleman i pray you which is the way to the master jew so gobo says young gentleman i ask you i pray you can you tell me where does the jew lives now gobo has decided to play a joke to a practical joke with his father so now he tells the way in a funny method he says turn up on your right hand at the next turning so when you reach the next turning turn your right and then what you have to do but at the next turning of all on your left so when you reach to the next turning on your left mary at the very next turning and by mary by virgin mary i say when you reach at the very uh, after that you reach when the uh, after that when you reach the next turning what you have to do you have to turn nowhere but turn down indirectly to the jews house but you have to later turn down to the jews house so in a very confused manner he tells what's the direction of the jews house so first he say go to your right at the next turn and then at the next bend turn to your left and by virgin mary i swear that at the very next turning do not turn anywhere and then turn down towards the house of the jew so this is the way nobody can understand and obviously his father gobo didn't got what he is telling so he says by god's santis twill be hard way to hit so by god's saint i swear that i swear of saints that this is a hard way to hit that this is a hard way to understand can you tell me where one lacelot that dwells with him dwelled with him or not so can you tell me that there was a one uh, boy lacelot that lives with shallock do he lives with him or not so lacelot said talk of you master lacelot so you are talking about master lacelot mark me now now will i raise the waters talk you of young master lacelot so now lacelot says that at me now look at me now lacelot says that look at me now now to the audience lacelot says now i raise i'll now have tears in my eyes because he is trying to have a joke with his father so getting tears in raise raise the water means getting tears in his eyes so he says talk you of young master lacelot so are you talking about young master lacelot so he, when he tells this line are you talking about young master lacelot he brings tear in his eyes and he tells this to the audience not to gobo now gobo says no 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 master sir but a poor man's son so he is not a master sir he is a son of a poor man because he is my son his father though i say is an honest exceedingly poor man so his father is although honest but it's a poor man and god be thanked well to live and i thank god that he has lived well in his life now lacelot says well let his father be what he will so let his father be what he is we'll talk of young master lacelot but we'll talk of young master lacelot so now he is going to play a practical joke he'll tell that your son is dead and he is his son and why he is able to do this because his father is almost gravel blind almost blind he cannot see so lacelot says so we'll talk of young master lacelot gobo says your worship friend and lacelot sir so your young friend and lacelot sir can you tell me so now lacelot said but i pray you argo old man argo means therefore but i pray you therefore old man therefore i beseech you talk you of young master lacelot so in a dramatic way he tells that therefore i tell you and therefore i beg of you that i'll talk of young master lacelot gobo said of lacelot and please your mastership so if you please then talk of him now lacelot says argo master lacelot therefore master lacelot talk not of master lacelot father so he is saying therefore you are referring to master lacelot so do not speak about master lacelot old gentleman for the young gentleman according to fates and destinies so what has happened to lacelot he is saying that according to fates and destinies in a dramatic way he is telling according to the fates and destiny you know what's the destiny 
So, the final result of anyone's life is a destiny. So, according to fates and destinies and such odd sayings, the three sisters and such branches of learning. So, he is swearing so many things that I swear of three sisters, I swear of fates and destinies and I swear of odd sayings and such branches of learning. And after that he says, indeed decreased, you may say that loss of Lord is decreased, he has reduced. What does this mean? And you would say in plain terms, you can uh, say in plain terms that he has gone to heaven, means he is dead. So, in this way he says that your son Lot is dead after swearing these many people. So, Gobo says Mary God forbid. So, Gobo says that uh, by Virgin Mary. So, may God forbid this to happen. So, this should not happen. For the boy was the very staff of my age, my very prop because the boy was the only support and he was only support in my old age. Now, Gobo looks aside and say, do I look like a cudgel? So, do I look like a st stick? Because he is saying that his son is a support. So, am I a stick? He questions that am I a stick that I can become his support or a hovel post. So, am I a stick or a hovel post? So, am I a stick or a post? Staff or a prop? So, how can I be a support? Do you know me father? So, he says that father, do you know me? Gobo says, Allah the day, I know you not young gentleman, but I pray you tell me is my boy, God rest his soul alive or dead. So, Gobo says, I do not recognize you. Both are talking, father and son are talking. Gobo says, I do not recognize you young man and, and I just request you that can you please tell me that my son is alive or dead. Lord said, do you not know me father? Now, Lord says, do not you recognize me father? So, Gobo said, Allah sir, I am sun blind, I do not know you. So, Gobo says, Alas sir, I cannot recognize you because I am almost blind, sand blind. Lasselard said, Nay indeed, if you had your eyes, you might fail to knowledge me. Gobo says, Lasselard says that if you even had eyes, you would not have recognized me. He is commenting on his father. It is a wise father that knows his own child. So, for to recognize your own child, you have to be wise. That was, that, that was told by Lasselard to Gobo. I will tell you news of your son. Give me your blessings. So, he says that I will tell you the news of your son. You should give me the blessing. He knees down and truth will come to light. Murder cannot be hid long. So, truth will reveal itself and if someone is murdered, that cannot be hidden. If your son is dead, that cannot be hidden. Because Lasselard knew that his son is not dead and he is, the, he is his son. A man's son may, but in the end, truth will come. So, in the end, truth will come. Now, Lasselard said, pray you, sir, stand up. I am sure you are not my Lasselard, my boy. So, Gobo is not confirmed, Gobo is sure that he is not my son. So, he says, I am sure you are not my son, Lasselard, my boy. Now, Lasselard says, pray you, let us have no more fooling about it. So, Lasselard says that, please father, let us not fool each other no more. Give me your blessings now. Now, you should give me your blessings. So, Lasselard underst is understanding somehow that his father Gobo is uh, playing a fool, but actually Gobo is not playing a fool because he is almost blind. He cannot recognize Lasselard and Lasselard is making a practical joke with his father. So, he is saying that your son is your child that shall be. So, I am your child. Gobo says that I cannot think you are my son. Gobo says that I do not believe that you are my son. Lasselard says I know not what I shall think of that. So, I do not understand what to say about that, but I am Lasselard and the Jews man. And I am Lasselot and I am the servant of the Jew and I am sure Marjorie, your wife is my mother and I am very sure that your wife Marjorie is my mother. So, now he tells the name of his mother. Now, Gobo says, her name is Marjorie indeed. Yes, my wife's name is Marjorie indeed. I will be sworn if thou be Lasselot. So, I swear now that if you are Lasselot, I swear that if you are Lasselot, thou art mine own flesh and blood and if you are Lasselot, then you are my own flesh and blood. Lord worship might be, might he be. So, he said that may the Lord be praised. What a beard has you got thou. So, he says now he touches Lasselot and he says what a beard, what a, what a uh, marvelous beard you have got. So, thou hast got more hair on my, on thy chin than Dobbin my 
horse has on his tail. So, what a marvelous beard you, beard you have got and that has more hairs than the tail of my horse Dobbin. So, you have a marvelous beard. Touching this, Gobo recognize that Lassilat has a good beard. Now, Lassilat says, it should seem that Dobbin's tail grows backward. So, Lassilat says that it seems that Dobbin's horse tail is going uh, is growing in a uh, retarded manner. It grows very slow because I am sure that he had more hairs of his tail than I have in my face when I last saw, uh, when I last saw him because when the last time I saw him, he had sufficient hairs in, in his tails. The horse has sufficient hairs in his tails. So, how it can be possible that my hairs in, in my, the hairs in my beard are more than the, than the hairs in the tail of the Dobbin. So, that means his tail must be growing with a lesser speed. That is what Lassilat is saying. So, they are, they are making fun with each other. Now, Gobo says, Lord, how art thou changed? How dost thou and the master agree? So, Lord, how much you have changed? So, Gobo says that how much you have changed? And how dost thou and master agree? So, how you dost do and thou, you, you and your master agree. So, is there an agreement between you and your master? Everything is going alright? Means, everything is alright between you and Sherlock. So, I have brought him a present and agree you now. So, I have bought a present and do you agree that I should give it to him? Now, Lassilat says, well, well, Lassilat do not agree because he is planning to escape from the Sherlock, the Jew. So, how should he be uh, agreed to give a present to the Sherlock and uh, obviously with his own father. So, he denies in the next dialogue. He said, well, well, but for my own part, I have set up my rest to run away. So, on my part, as far as I am concerned, I have decided to run away. So, I have decided to run away from the Jew because he has told, already told in this play that he will follow the commandment of the fine, the devil. He is not going to follow the advice of his conscience. So, well, well, but for my own part, I have set up my rest to run away. So, I will run away. So, I will not rest till I have run some ground and I will run up to that point until I find the ground. I am so much fed up with my boss Shalak. So, my master, a very Jew, give him a present, give him a halter. So, do not give him a present, give him a rope so that he should hang himself. I am feminist in his service. So, I am so much hungry in his service. And you may tell every finger I have my ribs and you can feel my ribs which I have in my chest with your finger. So, father, I am glad you come here. Father, I am very happy that you come here. Give me your present to one master Bessanio. And what should you do? You should give this present to my uh, one another master. He is master Bessanio. And who indeed gives rare new laveries. And why he is good? Because he good. He gives uh, new dresses to the servants. If I serve him not, I will run as far as God has any ground. And if I am unable to serve Master Bassanio, I will run as far as God allows me and as far as there is a ground over here. I will run as far as possible because I do not want to be there with Shalak. I will be with Master Bassanio. And if Master Bassanio do not allow me in his service, I will run away from here. So, if you want to give any gift, just give it to Master Bassanio. So, Or air fortune, here comes the man. Or air fortune, here comes the man. To him, father, for I am a Jew, if I serve the Jew any longer. So, here comes Master Bassanio. And, father, just understand me. If I serve more, any more time to a Jew, to the Shalak, I will become a Jew. So, in this uh, uh, play, it has been uh, depicted that Jews are not good people. So, and it is a uh, uh, drama in which it is said that if a servant will remain with his master, he will attain the qualities of a master. So, if a, if a master is a devil, the servant will become a devil. So, he says that if I remain in the service of Shalak, in the service of a Jew, I will become a Jew. So, in this way, the discussion ends with Go between Gobo and uh, Lasselot and at this point, Bassanio, Leonardo and his followers enters over there and this scene is too long. So, that cannot be continued in this part. So, I uh, will take uh, the next uh, 80 lines in uh, uh, next video. So, up till here.
we have discussed that there was a humorous discussion between Rasselard and his father Gobu and this scene is introduced in the play to get a respite to so that new stage can be set up so that new plot can be set up it's a humorous play mimicry so thank you for being with me and just to uh, see the next part of this video so that you can get a grip of our whole this uh, scene thank you very much